so the time is 6.06 in the morning and I have a grand total of 13% battery. Good morning everybody, welcome back to Challenge Fatty and welcome back to a new challenge. This one is going to be slightly different, this is another EV challenge um, and well let me set you the scene. So the time is 6.06 in the morning and I have a grand total of 13% battery and this is going to set up the new challenge which is I'm going to spend a week not using my wall charger at home. I'll get back to this in a minute. Bear with. Okay, so I've arrived at the charger. We're now on charge. We'll be on for a couple of minutes. Um, and we're ramping up slowly to a decent charge rate. I'm currently at about so 105 kilowatts, 107. Um, right, probably better explain this challenge. So, what is this challenge? Well, this challenge is very, very simple. A lot of people, when I start talking about EVs, say that they can't do or can't live with an EV because they don't have off-street parking so they can't charge cars. I get that, I totally get that. So, this challenge is to prove that you can live with an EV. I'm going to do a whole week's worth of commuting without using my home charger and I'm not even gonna use the charger at work because not everybody has a charger at work. Uh, I'm very, very spoiled, not only because I get an EV through work but because my work actually gives us free charging. If this is going to be a very, very quick challenge. I'm going to come back to you at the end of each day um, and tell you how many miles I've done, whether I've need, and um, what state of charge I'm at. If I need to charge, I'll obviously video that as well. Um, this week also, as well as doing all my five days in the office, I've also got the first... Uh, run media city event so i'm going to be doing that mileage and at the end of the, the at the end of it i'm going to show whether i've managed it i don't think i'll have to there are so many charges available at the moment um bear with me okay so just as a thing this is the new fastnet charger in haydock and as you can see i am out of the eight Stalls, there is absolutely nobody else here. So, yeah, um, I don't think I'm gonna struggle for a charger, but we'll see you during the week. Okay, we are charged to 80%. Time to go, time to get to work on a Monday. Okay, end of day one, I have 52% battery, so I've gone for 28% battery. Doing 64 miles, um, traffic was crap, so that meant uh, a 29 mile an hour average and only 3.4 miles per kilowatt. Because it's cold, it's rainy, and it's miserable. And I've had the seat heaters on, and I don't care. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, okay, end of day two and the average speed has gone up slightly but i've done 132 miles of commuting so far so almost the weekly average of most people uh, i've still got 27 percent of battery left and 82 miles um yeah just another day really three hours later okay so wait up a second i've got to admit something i did actually have to uh Go and get the takeaway from tonight. So, uh, yeah, that means adding an extra nine miles to a daily t target. So, we have now done, let's see, 142 miles uh, since since charging, and I've got 24% left. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back. And it is stupid o'clock in the morning again, and I've just nipped to the charges. So this is going to disappear. So let's just take the, the numbers here, which are I've done 146 miles uh, since the first charge. Um, I think we've got all the figures there. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, yes, I'm back at the charger. Um, I probably could, if I'd been brave enough, stretched out this battery, 
charge and gone all the way to and from work again on on the charge I had but I'd be getting back with like one or two percent and to be honest I can't be bothered I genuinely can't bother so um, I decided to come and get a charge this morning I then slept in so uh, yeah I'm, I've come back to stable charges like you would have a petrol car I went when I had a petrol or a diesel I had a favourite petrol station which I knew was cheap and I would go to that so this is just the same when you've got a, a Bev you have a, your favourite charger and at the moment this is my favourite charger because it's cheap so nipped up here I'm going to go and be a bit naughty and I'm going to put 90% in not just 80 because I know tomorrow I've got a big day going to do Media City um, yeah so so far one of the key points is I wanted to show that you could do your weekly mileage and well, we're Wednesday and we're on to our second charge I know that sounds pretty grim but we've also achieved one thing I've been banging on about is the UK average mileage and we achieved that on one charge so proving that basically you could charge this up I think it took me 32 minutes to charge it last time from borderline I think it was 10 percent 10 percent up to 80 percent and did the mileage on that so you need to charge once a week if you're doing average mileage uh, I know there's a lot of people who do above average mileage like myself so I'm going to continue on and I'm going to show you the rest of the week um, and, and yes I know there's going to be people who do way more mileage than me and yes for them it may be easier if you don't have a ability to charge at home or work it may be easier to stick with petrol or diesel. I'm not saying you have to go electric. I'm just giving you a a view of what it's like to live with a an electric car when you do more than average mileage and if you did not have home charging. So, um, stick around to the end because not only am I going to show that it's possible I also want to uh, do a little bit of maths because that's always fun. Maths is always fun and at the end I'm going to do a little bit of maths because I want to work out how it compares to um, to, an to a petrol or diesel car. Okay, see you soon. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, the end of day three. Uh, we've just added another 66 miles since charging it this morning so we're now over 200 miles for a week um, and yep got 64% left in the battery to do Thursday and Friday should be enough um, yeah cool next okay I've just got to Media City um, so that's part of the way home and on day four I've got 41% left 113 miles range probably about 113 miles left to do by the time I get home and then go to work tomorrow okay um there is obviously going to be a separate video for this uh, run at Media City so you may see some crossover okay just a quick one I'm back from Media City I am cold I am sweaty I am uncomfortable but this is the end of day four. Um, we've had 145 miles on since the charge yesterday. We've still got 34% of the battery left. Um, so that should be enough to get through tomorrow without even trying. If anybody thinks that I am babying this or hypermiling this, you couldn't be further from the truth because I, I just don't know how to do that. I've just sat at 70 officer all along the M62 with the air conditioning on trying to cool myself down so I'm not in any way making this easy on myself or the car okay I don't normally do this but I've just arrived at work and um, yeah as you can see the temperature is about two and a half degrees it was colder than that I woke up to a very frosty car so um, so I did what most um, EV drivers would do which is of the uh, heating on from outside the car while you make your sandwiches for lunch and uh, I when I got in I put the seat heaters on and I've had a very pleasant drive down um, yeah this uh, will I get home on 22% 
at 65 miles when I've got 33 miles to do. I'll come back to you in a second with the exciting conclusion. Okay, everybody, so uh, just got home um, 35 miles later. And do, 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 let's see, there we go. 210 miles since I last charged on Wednesday. That's it done. I have completed a week's worth of commuting and a few extra bits. Um, so, yeah, job done. And I've still got 38 miles of range. So I didn't really need to charge as much as I did. But, but hey-ho. Now, I think time for some conclusions. Kicking stuff. Hello everybody and welcome back to the shed. Let's go through a little couple of details and little conclusions and a tiny bit of maths. Um, as you saw, uh, I did 210 miles on the second charge, 146 on the first. So that means over my week's commute, I did 356 miles. Um, those two charges cost me a grand total of 53 pounds and 57 pence. And as I said, it got me thinking whilst doing the commuting. Um, if I wanted a, a different SUV, one of the oily, uppy, downy, bang, bang engine um, that had about 286 brake horsepower, uh, 282 in the Enyaq, but if I wanted something with around that power, same size boot, same kind of car, what could I get? And the only thing I could find is the BMW X3 and the three liter diesel. Um, yeah, that's that's got a bit more torque. Um, it's slightly quicker to not 60 and the boot is slightly smaller, but it's the closest I could find. So if you were to do the 356 miles in that at its, let's round it up to 43 miles to a gallon. Um, that would be 8.28 gallons. Um, or, sorry, it's a bit busy around here as this car's going past. Uh, 37.58 litres, I've got my notebook here. Uh, 37.58 litres, and at £156.9 £156 per litre, that would mean uh, it would cost £58.96 for the week, which is... £5.39 more than the Enyaq. So not only have we proven the fact that you can do a week's worth of commuting as a high mileage person just using public charging, um, I've, it's also cheaper. Um, now this is where I have to make a confession. The charging I did was using a subscription to Fastnet. Now there are other charge subscription services out there um some may make it cheaper some might not um also seeing how the bmw is 12 grand more expensive being slightly more expensive a month it could still work out cheaper to have the enyaq and um and use a subscription now the other way around is what i should do also is i should put up there um the fact that this is not sponsored by Fastnet in any way, shape or form. It's just my local charger. And as I said at the time, I like it because it's cheap. Um, but I just wanted to prove that this was, was doable. And the feel I have proven the fact that you, A, if you didn't have a charger at home, it's not the end of the world. You can charge. Now, there are even bigger ways to save money, which I didn't use this time. Um, for our local um, multi-story car park has free charges. You'd have to pay for parking, but they're free charges. So I could have saved even more money on date night by parking in the multi-story car park, hooking up to the free charges, going and having three hours of cinema or four hours if we included having a meal. Um, there's the Aldi down the road, which if I'd done my shopping at Aldi, I could have charged there at below domestic rate and got more electricity that way and that means I wouldn't have had to charge it fastened for so long and it would have been even cheaper. There are there are many ways to do this. Um, I just wanted to do it this time as plain and as simple as possible and just hit the numbers and make sure that I could show you it very easily and in a short video.
anyway i hope you've liked this video if you have uh, please like uh, comment subscribe i love it if you comment even if it's a negative comment even press the dislike button i always uh, nobody has ever done that yet and i want to see what happens if somebody presses a dislike button um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this i hope it's been educational there will be more ev content coming um but i need to hire a car for that so uh i hope to see you soon bye Thank you.